The Trans Rapid, one of the most ambitious railway projects ever. The project that brought us to Shanghai Maglev. This technology was very new at the time, and the trains evolved over many years, perfecting everything for when the technology would be introduced. These were the fastest trains in the world back then. However, that name comes at a cost. If there were to be a crash, what would the results be like? Well, on the 22nd of September 2006, that question would be answered in the worst way possible. Laferne Test Track, Germany. Every morning, a diesel-powered MOW vehicle would roll down the test track to check them for debris and other obstructions. When it was finished, the unit would wait in front of the last switch. There were two crewmen on the unit. The train that would be on its test run that day would be the Transrapid 08, built in 1999, and its Sitzer units, built in 2002, were already in service on the Shanghai Maglev. The test run was carrying visitors from local utility company RWE, a local nursing company, and some employees from Transrapid. The maintenance vehicle radioed the dispatcher for clearance. Job's done. You can begin testing once we have clearance. However, the, dis the dispatcher never responded. Transrapid 8 left the stations at 9.43am and first went for a brake test, then waited to have clearance from the dispatcher. They were given the go-ahead to proceed at 9.52am. The train left at 9.53. The train accelerated to 170 kilometers an hour. Nearly a minute goes by and the driver sees the MOW vehicle a hop ahead and slams on the brakes. The maglev plows into the MOW vehicle at 162 kilometers an hour. The aerodynamic design of the maglev causes the plow underneath the unit, causing it to rip off Transrapid 08's roof. The wreckage continued for 300 meters before coming to a halt. 23 people died and 11 were injured. 10 were listed as severe. Three of the survivors were rescued by removing the bottom panel from the maglev. Three other passengers were saved by cutting through the remains of the coaches. Firefighters had to use turntable rat ladders to rescue the passengers due to the track being four meters above level. Immediately after the accident, German Transport Minister Wolfgang Tiefens held an emergency meeting with representatives from Siemens AG and Fison Krupp, who were jointly responsible for the project. He committed afterwards that major safety failings were the cause of the accident. Angela Merkel, Councillor of Germany, came down in the middle of a conference in Berlin to attend the scene. Wu Jianming, who was the head of the Shanghai Maglev project, also came to the site. An investigation was later launched. German authorities later found out that human error was the probable cause, including failure to set an electronic braking system that would have prevented the train from operating while maintenance work was being carried out. Two staff members were found guilty of manslaughter and causing negligent injury and were fined 24,000 and 2,000 euros respectively. The dispatcher who gave clearance to Transrapid 08 was unable to take part in the court due to fears of suicide. The trial of the two other line dispatchers both would have resulted in prison sentences for a year, however the sentences were dismissed since they were extremely remorseful, still mentally ill, and retired, they accepted the verdicts immediately. In the end, a memorial was made just north of the site. Transrapid 08 was damaged beyond repair and scrapped. It had begun to age anyways, since at the time it was seven years old. It was replaced by the Transrapid 09 in early 2007. 
The test facility had attempted to build many transparent networks across Europe, as well as the rest of the world, and a new maglev in Shanghai. However, because of the crash, they were cancelled. This led up to the closure of the facility in 2011. Transrapid 09 was sent to the Kemper factory in Northrop in 2017. Transrapid 07, the train that preceded Transrapid 08, resides at the Max Bogle KG Sengentfall in Nuremberg. The facility has created a maglev of its own in 2018, however does not use the train for regular service. Electronic braking systems have been installed on all maglev systems across the world, with the Laffern test track being the first.